Hey, I'm Gugu, and this is Guru Style. Today, we are in my downtown LA showroom, and we are doing it ourselves on this custom chic episode of Guru Style. Now, I understand you all may not be arts and crafty like I am, but you definitely have some old stuff that you don't use, like this sweatshirt. We won't mention where it came from. We'll just mention that it's ugly and I really don't have any use for it because it's ugly. So I'm gonna make it pretty. I'm gonna cut the neck off. Make sure when you cut off the neck, you don't cut it off too far. So just cut just around the neck area. And then if you need to cut a little more, you can cut a little more as you go. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit and then we are gonna see how that falls. See already, this is pretty wide. I remember when I first did this, I cut it out way too far down and I put the sweatshirt on and it just fell off my body like that. You don't want that. So remember to cut close to the neck. And if you need to cut a little more later, then do that. I made this bow from a look I did for Tina Campbell. She had an embellished arm, an embellished sleeve, and this was just left over. So I had someone give me their two fingers like this and just tie a bow. This sequence is beautiful and I just didn't want to get rid of it. So I'm just going to add it onto the sweater. And I'm putting it on here with the safety pin. I like it floppy, I don't like it too neat. So I'm just gonna put one safety pin and just let it kind of fall the way it falls. There it is, nice and floppy. But you know what? I'm gaudy, so I'm not done. See these brooches over here from my cousin's wedding? I had to buy eight of them. And so when the wedding was over, they returned them all to me. So now I have eight brooches and nothing to do with them. These two are about to get used. Yep, make sure you don't, uh, Stab yourself like I just did. I don't know, I should just put it on and see what I think of next, huh? What do you think? I like this little drama right here. It makes me think of like cute girls in the 80s. Of course in the 80s, I wasn't even here, but it makes me think of the cute girls in the 80s. Several years ago, I went to a thrift shop and I bought some leather pants. They were a really soft leather and I could tell they were high quality. But when I put them on, they kind of fit like grandma pants. And so I cut the bottom off and I made shorts out of them, which are really, really cute. And I had a little bit of fabric left over. And so I just cut the fabric out recently. And so what I'm gonna do with this is, I'm gonna make this into just a little fringe bracelet. I'm gonna take them all and put them together. And I'm just gonna tie them around my arm. And then that's just, that's the bracelet. And it's really, really cute. And here you go. And you put it off to the side so we can see the little bump. And it's just funky. It's a funky little leather piece. You know what? You can take some longer pieces and do the little head wrap thing, but because I have these cute bangs, I'm not gonna do that. I just took one piece of clothing and turned it into two because these funky looking leather pants are now a great pair of high waist leather shorts and I have a funky leather bracelet. Do you know? that a pair of good distress designer jeans are about $285? No ma'am, Pam, we finna make them ourselves. You paying more money for less jeans. It's more holes in it than it is jeans. I'm not paying $300 for that. I'm gonna show you how to make these jeans look like they the $300 jeans and I only paid $7.84. Remember that when you are doing this, you want to do a little bit at a time. Don't do nothing big and crazy. Like I have big thighs and I'm kind of trying to hide them a little bit. So I don't like gigantic holes. So make small incisions like so. And then I just go over it with the scissors like this a little bit just to play with it a little bit. Once you put it in a washing machine, it'll fray very nicely. I'm gonna turn this leg inside out. Fray is just pulling all these strings out. Jacking the jeans up for a worthy call. You definitely want to make sure that you are protecting yourself. So I put these goggles on, I use straight bleach, I mix fabric softener in here. Also, I use a scented bleach so that the smell is not too strong and maybe when I walk by, I just smell like clean bleach. clothes, but not like bleach. So when you're spraying your jeans, hold your bottle about one foot away and just spray, 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 spray. I know personally, I like for the very bottom of the jeans to be really, really light. So I really, really spray a lot of the bleach there. And then I pull back and just kind of spray. I let that sit for about an hour. And after it sits for about an hour, I put it in a small load in the washing machine with just water, bleach, and fabric softener. Voila, here are my distressed jeans. I know, you're trying to figure out what's this dark spot. I put a sticker right here and I sprayed around the sticker because I wanted that to stay there. You can pay $300 for a pair of jeans or you can go to Walmart and get you a pair for $7.84 
and rock them out like this. See, the way I grew up, we didn't really throw away things. I'm my mother's seventh child. So most people have hand-me-downs one time. I have hand-me-down, hand-down, 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 and then I got it, okay? I have no choice but to be creative. That's why statistically, the seventh child in large families are generally wardrobe stylists and great ones at that. Look it up. Well, that's it. Thank you for getting crafty with me. I really hope this helps some people. And you know what? You can help me too. If you have some great DIY ideas, feel free to share them with me. Hey, why don't you send me some pictures of stuff that you've done? I'd love to see it. Make sure you subscribe to the WeTV YouTube channel and watch all of my videos. And leave your comments below.